Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I got another problem from one of my subscribers. He has a problem given that a husband and wife are both heterozygous for a recessive allele for albinism. If they have dizygotic twins, the probability that both of the twins will have the same phenotype for pigmentation will be. And as usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. According to our problem, both parents are heterozygous for this trait, so genotype of the mother would be capital A and small a and genotype of the father also would be capital A, small a. So uh, dominant allele stand for the um, normal protein that uh, would uh, result in normal pigment pigmentation and recessive allele uh, is mutated allele so if uh, progeny uh, it doesn't matter what sex uh, would have two recessive alleles then uh, the phenotype would be albina so in order to solve this problem we have to build simple Punnett square so genotype uh, let's say this is going to be uh, male and this is female genotype so uh, male genotype on top and female genotype uh, on the side that is going to be the same heterozygous uh, now when we build a Punnett square we can see all the possible uh, variants in the progeny. So capital A, capital A here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, and small a, small a here. According to this Punnett square, three quarters of the progeny are going to be phenotypically normal. And one quarter of the progeny would be albina. And the question is uh, what is the probability uh, that both twins would be of the same uh, phenotype? Uh, what is the probability that the first child would be phenotypically normal? And probability would be three quarters. What is the probability that second child also would be phenotypically normal? And this probability is also three quarters. So we have to multiply these two probabilities that two children uh, who is going to be uh, twins would be phenotypically normal. And the answer, as you see, would be 9 out of 16. The other variant also possible that both children uh, would be uh, albino. So also would have uh, the same phenotype, but this time uh, phenotype would be albino. And the probability would be one quarter that the first child would be albino and uh, one quarter that the second child also would be albino. And, uh, probability would be, as you see, 1 out of 16. So, as you see, two variants are possible, and when we have uh, two variants that cannot uh, happen simultaneously, because a couple may have only um, two uh, children, regardless of the sex, that is going to be normal phenotype, or two that is going to be albina uh, according to our problem uh, then we have to use additive rule we have to add this probability and this probability so we have to add 9 sixteenths plus 1 sixteenths and probability that this couple would have two children of the same phenotype would be 10 uh, over 16 or we can reduce this number to 5 over 8 and this is going to be our answer today uh, 
I just want to remind you uh, that uh, when we can connect to independent probabilities with word and so for example what is the probability that the first child would be normal phenotype and second child would be normal phenotype we have to use product rule but when uh, uh, we can connect uh, two probabilities with word or then we have to add uh, additive rule so we have to add uh, one probability with uh, another one when uh, the question is what is the probability that uh, children would be of the same phenotype that means uh, would be normal phenotype or would be abnormal phenotype albina so we cannot connect uh, with uh, word and because uh, these events cannot happen simultaneously the question is whether or so uh, in this case we use additive rule and one more uh, remark would be that uh, here in our problem it is dizygotic twins that means that um, there were two egg cells and these two egg cells were fertilized with two different uh, sperm and uh, if the question would be what is the probability of monozygotic twins to be uh, of the same phenotype the answer would be different because uh, in monozygotic uh, uh, variant we have only one egg cell that were fertilized by one sperm but later uh, they got separated to two uh, cell masses but as you see uh, this uh, cell masses genetically the same so the answer would be if the question would be uh, if uh, twins would be monozygotic uh, the answer would be uh, three quarters that they are going to be normal phenotype and one quarter that they are going to be um, abnormal phenotype or albina so uh, we have to add three quarters to one quarter and uh, the answer would be uh, that probability of such an event is 100 percent the children would be uh, of the same phenotype because uh, there is no other choice whether normal or abnormal but when we have the zygotic twins it is the same like a couple would have uh, two children at a different time for example uh, like uh, one sibling uh, was born 10 years ago another born uh, just a um, few months ago uh, for them probability would be absolutely the same as for the zygotic twins because uh, as you see according to this picture the zygotic twins result uh, of the two independent fertilization events and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any send me your problems if you have and see you in the next video goodbye